Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day everybody. Welcome to our first class on fluid mechanics BMM H2313. As stated in teaching plan, our textbook is Fluid Mechanics, Fundamentals and Application by Mega Hill. So uh, in any time, uh, you see in the slide the chapter number. The chapter number is directly uh, the same chapter number with the textbook. Normally, I will start with the first and the second chapter of the book, but I think with this online teaching method, uh, the best way to teach is uh, uh, to, to teach is by introducing simultaneously the fluid properties and ETC along the way with any topic. So that's why I jump directly into chapter three. So this is the outcomes of for this lecture. First, to determine the variation of pressure in a fluid at rest or we can say that uh, for this first chapter it is about the fluid in static uh, the, the the fluid we, uh, without its it's moving second is calculate the pressure using various kinds of manometer the third is calculate the forces as it by a fluid at rest on plane and the fourth one is to analyze the stability of floating and submerged body so before we start the topic, I think it's a better way to have a short revision on unit conversion. I'm sure you have uh, learned it before, but this is just a short revision uh, because the conversion unit is uh, something that uh, we will use a lot uh, during this subject. Okay, uh, we start uh, normally for the unit conversion. Uh, I think everybody of you will know about the SI, International System of Units. Normally with the for length, we use meter, for mass, kilogram, for time, second, and then they go to for the derived uh, dimension, such as force, energy, and power. So for force, normally we use Newton, energy, joule, and power, what? Okay, however, uh, SI unit, although it is used uh, worldwide, but uh, in some country, they will not use uh, SI units, but what they use is US custom, uh, customary uh, system, USCS. There is uh, some different, a lot of different, I think, uh, about the units, either in SI or in the US uh, customary system, such as length. So normally we use meter uh, for the US it has the, the units for length is either foot, yard, miles and then for the wage either it's using uh, pound or ton for volume, pin, quads, cups, gallon and NETC. So although I think uh, almost all for the exercise uh, we use as a unit but it is a good thing that everybody uh, has the ability in case you need to convert it from the SI into USCS because uh, no, uh, in, in some units especially for the power although we use watt but uh, HP horsepower is also the units that we all, we normally use so that's why uh, we not we cannot be rigid into SI only but we, we also need to know other conversion, other conversion unit Next, it is also important uh, to remember the multiplication factor in the SI units. Giga, mega, kilo, I think you have uh, get use of it. So, one kilo is 1,000. So, if uh, one gram and then 1,000 gram, we normally say it as one kilogram. Meter, if it is 1,000 1, meter, we normally call it as one kilometer. Let's do some exercise on conversion. 20 centimeter convert to meter. One centimeter is one over 100 meter. Then 20 centimeter is 20 over 100 meter or 0 0.2 meter. Okay, we go to exercise number two. Liter compared to milliliter is 1 liter is 1000 milliliter 
then 0 0.032 liter is equal to 0 0.032 times 1000 milliliter equal to 32 milliliter so for question number three micro to nano okay micro is 1000 nano then uh, for 45 nan uh, micrometer it is equal to 45 times 1000 nanometer or equal to 45,000 nanometer and then last question is 805 decimeter convert it to kilometer so for one decimeter is 1 over 10,000 kilometer then for 805 decimeter is equal to 805 over 1,000 one, oh, sorry 805 over 10,000 kilometer or 0 0.0805 kilometer okay let's go to the next level convert 3 meter into inch when what you know is 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter and 1 inch equal to 2.54 centimeter so how to convert it first uh, you already know 1 meter equal to 100 centimeter because we have the unit on the uh, unit of meter on the top in the question so we have to put a unit of meter in the bottom therefore centimeter as the unit to convert in the in uh, on the top so we can now cancel meter to meter so it, we have already convert 3 meter into 300 centimeter next uh, we need to convert the centimeter into inch so uh, again because we have the unit of centimeter on the top we have to put the unit of inch in the bottom therefore the conversion unit for centimeter at the top again and then cancel the unit for centimeter and centimeter and uh, with the left third, uh, is uh, unit is now inch so 3 meters times 100 cent hundreds uh, divided by 2.454 you got is 3 meters is equal to 118 inch okay now time to go to go to the next level how to convert meter per second to kilometer per hour so convert uh, the question is to convert uh, 3 meter per second into kilometer. you uh, do you know that 1 kilometer equal to 100 meter 1 hour equal to 3300 second okay uh, just the same method because we have the unit m on the top we have to put the unit of m in the bottom therefore kilometer as the unit to convert at the top one kilometer one one thousand meter so now we can cancel meter to meter now the uh, time to go to cancel for sen for a second we know that uh, one hour equal to three thousand six hundred centimeter se uh, second same uh, same with the previous because we have the unit of second at the bottom we have to put the unit of second on the top therefore our as the unit to convert uh, are at the bottom okay we can we now can cancel second and two second so the left one is kilometer and hour so a three divided by 1000 times 3300 you got the answer is 10.8 kilometer per hour Okay, so we can use uh, it uh, for any question. Okay, I have uh, two questions here. Uh, you need to answer it. And then in the, you need to answer in, in ULEN. Uh, just give me the final answer. Uh, I will, uh, for this first lecture, uh, I will use your answer as your attendance. So no matter uh, is it wrong or is it uh, correct, I just uh, what I need to know is uh, you understand the topic, the topic, and then the second thing is uh, I uh, that there will be for your attendant for for the first lecture. So you need to convert. Uh, okay, uh, calculate the density of mercury in kilogram per meter cube. If hundred. 2 gram of mercury occupied 
occupies a value of 7.36 cm cube. So you got uh, the mass, you got the volume. Uh, you can you can get the density directly from the gram and centimeter cube, and then you need to convert it into kilogram per meter cube. And the second question you need to do is, what is the mass in kilogram for a cube of gold density 9.32 gram per centimeter cube if the length of the cube is 0 0.02 meter? Okay, uh, you, you also need uh, to do this question and then submit it, submit it into, uh, into your land. Okay, uh, this is a uh, somewhat example you can try and you can do it uh, by yourself. They, they also uh, show the, how to answer it. Okay, uh, let's go for, for our first lecture. Okay, see you on the next lecture.